car makers are rising to the challenge of shaking up the aviation industry with new types of aircraft powered in more environmentally sustainable ways that could open up new modes of transportation. Companies like South Korea's Hyundai and its new Advanced Air Mobility Division, Supernal, believe they're best qualified to press the reset button. Supernal came to the recent Farber Air Show in England to make its case to the aerospace community and it gave crowds a glimpse of what its first planned five-seat EVATOL vehicle looks like. So what we've got here is a rendering of the cabin that was uh, developed in conjunction with Hyundai's design centers um, and uh, the Hyundai Motor Group, so the various brands. And it is focused on making it uh, passenger friendly, accessible, uses very light colors. The structure of the construction is, is very functional, so hand grips and coat racks and a window display that's based on a butterfly, biomimicry, to give a line of sight for the passengers. So we, we, we've had very positive reactions. We think it shows that special something that the car designers have been able to bring to the table. Well, during the Farber Air Show, the UK endured record high temperatures that exceeded 40 degrees Celsius. And that certainly focused everyone's minds on the very real impact of climate change on day-to-day -day living conditions. Aviation innovators know they have to be part of the solution rather than being an ever-increasing part of the problem. It's an electric vehicle, so it's zero emissions. And I think as it's past 40 degrees in London, we, there's probably no better backdrop for that. So it is, it is all electric. Uh, it allows us to bypass traffic. It takes cars off the road and allows uh, transportation options uh, in a much longer range for, for uh, more convenient connections. But it's, I think, ideal in the 50 to 60 mile range and you fly that at uh, over 100 miles an hour, so you can make quick connections that right now would take two hours in a car. I think it replaces cars, but it also opens up transportation options for people who otherwise just wouldn't travel. So you can imagine commuting from 60 miles out, if you could do that in 30 or 40 minutes, into the city for your job, it would open up new travel opportunities that aren't currently being taken. If you think about getting to Heathrow, if you could get to Heathrow from 20 or 30 miles out, uh, in an electric flying vehicle that drops you off airside, so you miss the security at the airport, it'd be a pretty compelling uh, offering. We're very focused on the ecosystem. And I think the best example is, again, back to a car. If we were building a car, you could pick it up, drive it on the roads that exist already. You'd have your driver's license that exists already, and there are rules in, of the road and enforcement. None of that exists for this. You have traditional airspace, but you don't have airspace designed for this type of vehicle. So we need new vertiports to land the vehicle. We need operating rules that allow them to operate very efficiently and ultimately autonomously uh, with new technologies for detect and avoid and, and really new air traffic management that doesn't involve talking to an air traffic controller every time you want to do something. Increasingly, experts feel that a very rapid scaling up is needed to transform the business model of 21st century air transportation. And given that to date far, far more cars have been produced than aircraft, it's little wonder that automakers feel that they're in pole position. That explains why we've seen major companies like Toyota buy into Evital pioneers like Joby, and now Hyundai setting up its stall in the shape of Supernal. We're, we're primarily focused on being a, a manufacturer of vehicles. Uh, we're also quite interested in making sure that the product is a good product, so we'll be working closely with providers of, of that service. So there'll be uh, what you would traditionally think of as aircraft, small aircraft operators. Um, but our goal is to really get the price down and make it an accessible uh, travel option for folks. And I think that's what a car company is able to do to bring that prowess of automobile manufacturing to the aircraft industry where virtually every airplane is handmade and thus very expensive. So we hope to really drive the cost down and make this accessible. I think there's not a company that does manufacturing better, so we want to bring some of that automation and uh, sophistication and technology to the aerospace sector. Time will tell whether what the industry calls advanced air mobility can really be a true mass market and a force for good across the globe. Initially, it probably like most technologies, might be only available to the wealthy, but we'd like to quickly move to mass production so we can bring that cost down. We don't see a, a limiter for how much you could push this technology. And being uh, all electric, it is, it is environmentally friendly and, 
and much more convenient and, and faster for, for travelers. We're a U.S.-based company. Our first cities un undoubtedly will be in the U.S. Our engineering is in Los Angeles. We'll certainly have operations in Los Angeles. We've worked with uh, government in, in uh, Miami. Uh, but the world has a lot of cities that are um, have an economic basis, a transportation foundation, and are forward-leaning on regulation to allow this. So we think it'll scale uh, globally. It's easy to imagine Seoul being one of the earlier cities that we go to, but I think the, the list of cities that are eligible is quite long. So the trick will be to sort of rack and stack and, and, and go where it makes sense to, uh, initially. And some of that will be driven by regulatory uh, approvals and the like. Well, here at futureflight.era, we're covering news from this exciting new frontier of aviation around the clock. And believe me, there's never any shortage of news to cover. Please keep coming back to us for stories like this. You can sign up for our weekly newsletter for free 